Well, this is a fine pickle. Anyway, hey everybody, it's Mega Man Alexil, and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario. In the last episode, we arrived here in Goomba Village, or should I say, made a crash landing in Goomba Village, and were introduced to the Goomba family that lives there, and we also helped Goompa receive the Hama, the Hama Hama, and now we're going to be fighting some Goombas. I actually had the replay up to this point, and that's kind of sad because the original episode 3 got corrupted. So anyway, this here is a Goomba, a uh, pretty generic enemy, 0 defense, 2 HP. Uh, if you get a first strike on him that's jumping or hammering him before the battle, he'll, uh, you'll be able to fight him. Now, that up there we can't get right now, well, we'll be able to get it in just a sec, but anyway, these guys... You can't jump on. Goomba's about to explain that. Or Goompa. So Spike Goomba, see the spike on his head? Be careful not to jump on him, you'll definitely get hurt. Yeah. So we can't... I almost jumped on him. We cannot jump on him. We have to... He, he, he's got the same stats as every other Goomba. Pretty much every Goomba has the same stats. They might have different defense. But anyway. So things might not add up. Um... Like I said, I had to replay up to this point, um, but he's saying that our hammer cannot hit them while they're in the air, so we have to hit them while they're on the ground. And I'm sorry if I'm skipping over a lot of stuff here, it's just, these are just tutorial battles, basically. This is basically how battles are going to be for the, pretty much, uh, I have like six minutes of footage I actually have to cut because I started recording at the wrong time, and, um... I, uh, I had to fight Junior Troopa again, and I actually thought that I didn't fight him. So I literally had to pull up YouTube on my phone to see if I had already fought him. And I ended, right where I began this episode is where I ended the last one, so... I'm trying to make things as consistent as I possibly can. Anyway, we're kinda, we're kinda hurting. So, um, I'm gonna go heal really quick. Um, enemies will actually respawn. So... This is actually a great place to grind early game. Now, this heart block here is actually really important. If you see those, make a habit of healing whenever you see them. Because they will help you. And I'm not going to cut these battles out because... Well, I want to show you what happens... Well, actually, I think I already showed... I think I already explained it, actually. I don't know. This is the first video I'm recording in this session. I'm... I'm gonna start doing three games in every session. I'm gonna start with Paper Mario, Kirby's Adventure, then I'm gonna do Wind Waker. I already recorded Okami, uh, yesterday, I think? What's today's date? Today's date is February 3rd. I recorded Okami episodes 15 and 16 on the 1st. Like, the weekends are basically my recording days, and then if, like, Wind Waker episodes... What was the last episode of Windmaker to go up? Eight? Like, before this, I think it was episode eight. So, that means... Okay, episodes nine and ten, they're already edited. That was the entirety of the first dungeon. Uh, those are going up before this, so it's okay for me to say all that, I guess. I don't know. Um, and to those who saw it, I hope you enjoyed that uh, random game day I did on Super Luigi 64. I had a lot of fun making that. Too bad I got a copyright strike right before uploading it. Like, seriously, right in the middle of uploading it got a copyright strike. And I know I explained this in that video, but I kind of want to bring light on the subject because I actually have some new information on it. So like I said, it's not happening to just me. It's happening to everybody. It, everybody it's been happening for a, for a long-ass time now. It's been happening since YouTube began, pretty much. But, now Nintendo is just being super strict with it, and they're kind of abusing their power, I feel like. I don't know. Like, it's not visual copyright, it, it's mostly sound. Anyway, that there is a star piece. Those are very important for later, and I'll get into more of that on what they do. But, um, I actually don't know. But... If it seems like I'm rambling on a lot, that's just because I'm trying to keep talking, so there is no sound cue they can take to copyright it. 
Because, like I said, I don't make money off YouTube, I just do this for fun, and I don't want to have no copyright strikes and all that. But luckily, Paper Mario Episodes 1, I think Episode 1 didn't get a strike, but Episode 2 did, so anyway. Don't worry, kids, here I am! Thanks to young Mario here, I made it back alright. And, yeah. Oh, is that locked? Or is that thing locked? Let me open it up for you. And what really sucks is that during cutscenes, like, I I don't want to talk during cutscenes. And that sucks. Goomba, where have you been? I looked outside and, wow, both you and the veranda were just plain gone. Goomba, I was very, very worried about you. Really worried. Sorry, kids, I apologize. I didn't mean to make you fret. Just take it easy now. I'm back safe and sound. I'm not even going to try and do his voice. I'm, I'm just going to read it normally. Now, before I forget, I decided to give you something, Mario. Wait here a moment. Okay, so... Huh? Hey, that doll you got. That's the one Gumbaria lost. She was looking all over it. All over for it. Would you give it back to her? Sure. Now, if you say no, he'll actually be all like... Um, okay, I don't know what you need it for, but just give it back to her when you're done. And I'm just like, okay. People can take that out of the context if they want, but... It's my dolly! Dolly, dolly, you're back! Thank you so much! I'm so happy, my sweet dolly. Don't you ever get lost again. Here's a present from me. Look at the pretty glitter. And this is our second star piece. And take this, too. I would make a bestiality joke, but Chug already made that joke in his LP. You always seem to beat your enemies. Do you work out? I study self-defense by reading books and the masters and listening to Dad and Goompa. And I also se exercise every day. Just exercise. <laughs> so I can get strong like you. Starting the show, too. I'm getting big muscles. Well, technically, you, you're just a head and feet, so it, your head's the only muscle you have. Yeah, Gumbario's head is hard as a rock now. Hee <laughs> hee. When he does his head bunk move, it really, really hurts. The... Please tell me you weren't on the receiving end of that, because if you if you are, then I'm gonna have some suspicions. No, oh, be quiet, Gumbario. You're embarrassing me. Of course, it is true. Well, that rests my case. Sorry to kept you waiting, Mario. It's okay, Goomba. We're just rapping with Mario. God, I hate that. Oh, rapping, huh? Sorry. I wanted to give this to Mario. You got the power jump badge. Mario stomps on a single enemy using a lot of attack power. This is called a badge. Well, duh. If you wear this, you'll be able to do a power jump, which means you'll be able to do a lot more damage with your jump attack. But listen here, and listen well. You'll only be able to do it if you're wearing the badge. You better try it out first, putting on badge and putting... Putting on badge... Putting badges on and taking them off is a vital skill. Would you like a quick lesson in how to use the badges to collect during your travels? No, thank. Okay, then. First, press start. The menu will open. Well, he's going to explain it better than I can. Alright, here's how you put on a badge and take off badges. Use the control stick to select badges. Press the A button to enter the badge screen. Press the A button again. And now the badge is equipped. Press it again to take it off, but sadly we just unequipped it, so... And now he's explaining that block that we saw back there. It restores HP and FP. Badges will take FP. So, yeah. Just... I, I probably flashed it up on screen. Um, I don't know, but if I did, there you go. By the way, Mario, I heard from G Guma. You're taking it upon yourself to try and rescue the princess from Bowser's clutches. Oh yeah, Mario can beat Bowser with one hand tied behind his back. Even though we couldn't beat him the last time we saw him, he kind of... Well, Goombaria found us, and we had just challenged Bowser, so... Yeah. Hush now, Goombario. Mario, please take the hammer. It should serve you well. If I was just a bit younger, I'd accompany you on your trip. I would have done some damage. The years have really started the way on me, though. I tell you, this lower back pain... Yeah, I wish he could have tagged along with us. Huh, I guess we'll manage. Adventure. You're so lucky. Princess rescuing is so cool. I really want to be an adventurer too someday. Me too! Oh! Now there's an idea! Gimbaria. Perhaps the timing is just perfect. 
You're no longer a child, and evil times are upon us. I'm sure Mario will agree. You should accompany Mario. What? Really? May I go? Goomba? May I really go? Yes! Oh yeah! Mario, you won't regret this. Gambario joined your party! Press C down to have him tell you things about people, places, or things nearby. When you're interested, just ask him. Gambario is also helpful during battles. He can attack with head bonk, or he can tell you what an enemy's features and HP are by using his tattle ability. Way to go, Gambario! Mario. I knew Gambario will prove to be a worthy companion. Well, I think it's about time for my nap. I'll be in the house. Oh, that was a perfectly good time beyond there. <laughs> Goodbye, as I have a way of making this old Goomba get weepy. Aww. <laughs> God, this game just has so much atmosphere, I swear. This is so cool, Mario. Let's go. But, wait, your HP looks a little low. You may ought to take a rest in the Toad House. Good point. So, we have Goombario in our party now. And, uh, I'll show off what he does in battle in a sec. But, here's what he can do for you in the overworld. Like that said, you can press C down. This is Goomba Village. My family lives here. There's a toad house, which you probably already know, is a good place to take a rest. The big tree near my house is a great place to get Goom Nuts. Huh. Goom Nuts, you say. Hey! Can you get more than one? Nope. Now, I'm actually gonna rest up, but... When it comes to recording in a session, I actually wanna... I don't know, it's just... Well, anyway, we're gonna take a nap here. But, I, I pre-record all my stuff. Everything is recorded in advance. So, sometimes everything will be different. Like, a few, like I just uploaded a video a few days ago, I had my old border, even though I have a new one now. And I keep making new borders, I'm sorry if you're all sick of that. But you gotta admit, I, I had a fun time making them. Like, those borders aren't very hard to make, actually. I made them in, uh... If you wanna know how I made them, I made them in, um... Fire Alpaca, which is a painting application. That's also where the original thumbnails were drawn. Like, the, the thumbnail that I had for episodes 1 and 2 for this series, um, was just me, and I drew that on Fire Alpaca. Anyway. Dad, did you hear? I'm going on adventure with Mario. I'll make you proud, Dad, I swear. Just wait. Do your best, son. You've grown into a strong boy. I know you'll be great help. It's a good thing you spent so much time training, huh? Now that you're do your old Goompapa proud, I can never get their names right. Anyway. There we go! Problem solved! I have a feeling your road will be lined with difficulties, so try not to overdo it. Be watchful. Yet, stay cool. A calm mind is the wisest, as they say. Oh, hang on, Mario. I noticed you weren't wearing the badge Goompa gave you. You know, that badge won't do anything if you don't wear it. I think you better put that on before you go. Thanks for reminding me. I... Sometimes I always skip that, and they just pressure me to do it. But, um, yeah. So anyway, now we can leave Goomba Village. And, um, this episode's actually gonna be a little bit weird for me to record, because, you know... I started, like, at the wrong time, so six minutes into this recording is actually when we started this. So anyway, beware of Goombas. False advertising, pal. Anyway, this is a great chance for Goombario to show what he's got. Hey, Mario, during a battle, you can change the order we attack in with Z. I can attack first if you want. I don't mind at all. Just keep it in mind, okay? Well, that's a perfect segue, because Goombario has two abilities we can do. Head bonk of an enemy is basically Mario's normal jump, and tattle. See an enemy description and make HP visible. Once you do this, their HP will always be visible, and you'll never have to keep tattling again. Now, I'm gonna make a habit of doing this, and it might get me killed a lot, so I'm just gonna point that out. Anyway, we have a Goomba, let's tattle on him. This is a Goomba. Goombas are what you call a small fries. Actually, they're pretty much the smallest of fries. Hey, wait, I'm one of them. Their max HP is 2, and their attack power is 1. Their defense power is 0. You can jump on them or whack them with the hammer. These guys are old school. They've been around since you were in Super Mario Bros. So, yeah, he breaks the fourth wall. It's great. So, this is going to be a great chance to show off the Power Jump badge. It does 3 damage in total, and uh, takes FP. So, I'm not going to be spamming it that often. 
Because, yeah. So, it's great to get a first strike on a Goomba, because like I said, they have 2 HP. And I'm actually going to let Goombario attack first. So, yeah, Goombas take 2 hits to kill. I, we already knew this. But, um, it is great. It You need to make a habit of getting a first strike, whatever means necessary. But don't let an enemy get a first strike on you. And I mean that. Because sometimes, if it's a strong enemy and you're under level, then it'll be kind of a pain. And I know this is the first RPG I'm playing on my channel and all that, and I kind of want this to be as informative as I possibly can, but like I said, I'm not that good with information on gaming. If you want information on this game, then just watch Chugga play through it. It's more... He explains things better than I do, even though he's more informative nowadays than he was back then. But it's kind of funny how my first Let's Play was a side-scroller, a pretty short one at that, or actually no. My, my actual first Let's Play was a Zelda game, yep, believe it or not. I don't know if it's still on the channel, but it's a Four Sword Anniversary Edition, I played it blind. And, um, I like to think Kirby's Dream Land is my first real Let's Play. Like, because it, that one was just much better, in my opinion. And I want to redo that Let's Play sometime. Like, because I love Kirby's Dream Land, don't get me wrong. It's not my favorite Kirby game, but I love it. And, crap, I forgot the title on the Paragoomba. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, th th I'm not gonna tattle every enemy, I guess. Only, only if I... I'm only gonna tattle on them if I really, really want to see how much HP they have. I'm gonna make a habit of doing it, though. But when we have more party members and all that... Because, spoiler alert, you get more. That's a no-brainer. Yeah. Oh. I actually didn't see what he said. Did you know? There are good Goombas and bad Goombas. A bad Goomba will try to pick a fight with us the second they spot us. I mean, like, the one behind us? <laughs> yeah. So, this one's a no-brainer, but Goombario, we'll go ahead and explain the Spike Goomba. This is a Spike Goomba. Spike Goombas are Goombas with spikes on their heads. Max HP is 2, attack power is 2. Whatever you do, don't jump on their heads, or you'll get hurt or even paralyzed. This is the earliest stat element we can actually get. And I'm actually going to use the Fire Flower here. Actually. No, I'm just going to... Okay. I actually thought I hit jump for a second on him. That, that would have been bad. But, uh... We're actually hurting pretty bad, so... Actually. I'm going to use an item. Uh, we have one Mushroom. So it's not going to hurt to use it. And Goombario can actually uh, take a turn now. And what what strategies? Oh, do nothing. So yeah, I have a feeling party members get the short end of the stick because they can't take hits. To, like to my knowledge, they can't take hits for you. And I don't know why that is. I guess it's just like I know in later Paper Mario games that is the case, but. Then again, the only Paper Mario games where you actually get party members are, um, this one and a Thousand Year Door, and I know I'm gonna anger a lot of people by saying this, but I'm not a fan of a Thousand Year Door. Anyway, when Mario's in danger, enemies will sometimes fail to attack. You got the close call badge, I forgot to clarify that. So, this is actually a really good badge, and I'm gonna equip that right now because, yeah. So, it's important. Now, this is my kind of advertising, because... We got a mushroom. You got a mushroom. You have got a mushroom. Okay. Anyway. We are actually going to tattle on the Paragoomba. Uh, it doesn't matter which one. It'll, it'll reveal their HP problem. Anyway. Now that they are tattled, we are going to use that Fire Flower, because that'll just kill all of them in one fell swoop, and I don't have to worry about anything. So, I've only played about two, three hours in, 
Like, I haven't played this game as much as I'd like to, because I've been playing other things, like, I've been playing a lot of Earthbound lately, because, I know, like, one of these days, I want to do Earthbound on the channel, but, hey, hey, hold it, right there! Yeah, you, suspicious guy, don't move! Ha, you're Mario, I knew it! You can't get past here, Mr. Big Shot. It's a direct order from the King or from the Goomba King. That's right. I'm sorry, but the only way through is the only way the only way by is through the Goomba Bros. That's me, Red Goomba, and my brother, Blue Goomba. Let's get it, Blue Goomba. Oh yeah, let's do it, my red brother. For some reason, I'm getting a Lilo and Stitch vibe from them, I don't know why. And sometimes Mario will trip in a battle, <laughs> it's kind of funny. Anyway, let's go ahead and analyze the Blue Goomba first. This is Blue Goomba. He's the younger of the two notorious Goomba Bros. If they're so notorious, how am I just now hearing about them? Max HP is 6, attack power is 1. As you heard this little speech, he's one of- or as you heard in his little speech, he's one of the Goomba King's men. He doesn't look that healthy. He's weaker than his older- than his brother. Yeah, well, he's the weaker one. And, uh, after you've used a turn from their party member, they can't do it again. But I can tell you that Blue Goomba has 6 HP and the other one has 7. Mario, how'd you like some of this? Basically, they're just normal Goombas, but with more HP. That's basically all they have. So, now let's title on the Red Goomba. This is Red Goomba. He's the older of the two Goomba Bros. Max HP is 7, attack power is 1, defense is 0. The Goomba King ordered him to try and stop you. You can take this guy, no problem. He just has a little bit more HP than the ordinary Goomba. Yeah, that's not really... He doesn't have much going for him. Ah! Now, we can actually take care of... Now, if I play this right, we can actually get both of them with two power stomps. So, I just did the red one. I'm gonna go ahead and take care of you. You have two more HP left. So, Gumbario can just head bonk you. And I think I can eat a Goom Nut to, uh... Oh, hey! Yeah, that, that's what that badge does, by the way. So, this will restore some HP. Uh, FP. I actually thought it restored HP, but yeah, I kind of confused myself. So, we're gonna head bonk you. And now you have the same amount of HP as a normal Goomba. Oh, they didn't miss that time. So, we're gonna let Goombario go first. So, I'm gonna take out the red Goomba first, because I always take the blue one out first. I just want to take the older one out first. So anyway, he's down. Red Goomba! My brother! No! You killed my brother! Sons of a... I don't know if you... I don't know if anyone's seen Robot Chicken, but that that's a reference to that. I remember I used to like that show. Now I just can't stand it. I don't find it that funny anymore. Anyway, you got 20 star points. Not bad. <laughs> I'll get you for this now! You coconutted head looking. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go back and heal. And, um. I think we're gonna go ahead and call it quits for this episode. So, next time on Let's Play Paper Mario, we're gonna be venturing on farther ahead and. Hopefully seeing what this Goomba King has to offer, because they mentioned him a couple times. So let's see what he's got. That is, if we find him. Anyway, if you guys like this part and you want to see more, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to let me know if you enjoyed the video. And let me know for question of the day. Um, I need to think of these beforehand, but, um... Huh. Are you okay with my current upload schedule, or, or, okay, how about this? For question of the day, how should I improve on these videos? Like, 
How many videos do you want me to record in a session? Do... Well, I mean, you guys are allowed to help out, obviously. Like, in the comments, you can say, like, Oh, hey, like, there's a thing you missed back there. It's very helpful. Go back and get that whenever you can. Like, things like that. Like, give me some tips, and I guess you can... I guess you can actually let me know if I should keep doing these question of the day things, because... I don't know. Anyway, I've been Megagrammer Alexel. Ugh, I said that wrong. I've been Megagrammer Alexel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.